Now the right hand also has a very important secondary job, which is called muting. Essentially what it does is you hold your right hand on the strings to stop them from ringing. Now, a lot of times what you do is you use the side of your palm. Sometimes you might use one of your fingers. Sometimes you might use the base of your hand. But most of the time you're using the side of your palm and you're going to be somewhere down here by the bridge saddles or on the strings up in this area. And the idea is generally that you're going to block certain strings from ringing while letting other ones ring. So, for example, there might be a chord in which I'll be playing these two bottom strings, but I don't want any of these other ones to ring. So what might happen is I'll put my fingers on the strings so I can hear that ringing, but I'll put my palm on the other string. So even if I hit them accidentally, they won't ring. So all I can hear are the strings that I want ringing. When you play individual notes, this happens a lot too. For example, if I... Notice that what I'm doing there is I'm resting my palm on the bottom strings so that I don't inadvertently hit other strings. I can mute them so I don't have to... And sometimes, even if I'm not, even if I'm not hitting them directly, even if I'm being very precise in my picking, it's still possible that a sympathetic vibration might start these strings ringing. And I don't want to hear any of that. I want to mute them so that I don't hear any of that ringing. So, a lot of times muting is accomplished by your left hand, but your right hand does have a very important task in being able to mute.